Write a Python function to check whether the three given numbers can form the sides of triangle. Hint, three numbers can be sides of a triangle if none of the numbers are greater than or equal to the sum of the other two numbers. Also write the pi test test cases to test the program. So the message is very clear. If uh, three numbers need to be sides of a triangle, then none of the numbers should be greater than or equal to the sum of the other two numbers. So this is the code we need to uh, take a look at. So three numbers are given and a form uh, triangle form method is being called. So we pass three arguments, num1, num2 and num3. It comes here. Now we need to write the logic for this. As I mentioned before, three numbers can be sides of a triangle if none of the numbers are greater than or equal to the sum of the other two numbers. Say for example, if we are going to check for the one side, let's take n1. So n1 should be less than n2 plus n3. So we will have to check for other, other sides as well. n2 should be less than n1 plus n3. Then n3 should be less, should less than n1 and n2. So the code is ready. Num1 less than num2 plus num3 and all the three conditions should be met. Otherwise, we can use R. If any one of the conditions should be met, then we will use R. Since all the three conditions needs to be met, we use AND operator here. So if it is so, we return success. Otherwise, we return failure. So let's run this program. We may not get any output because we have not used any print statement here. If you want to see the output, we can use a print statement here. So it should be able to give us output now. So it says triangle can be formed. So we know that uh, 3 plus 5, 3 plus 3 is, le is greater than 5. And uh, if you are, if you take 1, the 3, uh, 5 plus 3 is greater than 3. So we let's take an example. I take num 1. So you, you, you will have to compare with the other two sides. 3 plus 5 becomes 8. It's obviously it, uh, the, these two, uh, addition of these two, num 2 and num 3 is greater than num 1. Then we take num2, 3. So we know the same result. And let's take num3, right? Num3 is 5. 3 plus 3, yes, it is greater than num3. So uh, these uh, numbers can form, can be sides of a triangle. Let's look at another example. If you change the first value to 2, num1 is equal to 2. We know that um, num1 and adding num1, num2 will be equal to num3. So this cannot be these three cannot be sides of triangle so let's execute this and see the output so we should get we should actually get um, triangle can be formed this is a message we get but we should get the messages triangle cannot be formed so there is a mistake in this code so instead of this num3 we'll have to do this because we are checking num3 uh, sh should be less than num1 plus num2 so look at the result triangle can't be formed